Hey guys, I'm Shayna. Welcome to the Mom Edit. Today we are going to be talking about trench coats. I'm a huge trench coat fan and I recently, after years of debating, splurged on this Burberry trench coat um, I have the Kensington. A few of editors on our team have been loving J. Crew's Icon Trench. And so the price difference between these two guys is huge. The Burberry Kensington comes in at about $2,500 where the J. Crew Icon Trench is about $350. So I wanted to get into the similarities and the differences between the Burberry Kensington and the J. Crew Icon, which I know some of our team members are huge fans of, and we've also gotten some reader questions about what the differences might be. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with my baby, the Burberry. The thing about this coat is the fact that like all the little details have basically been really well thought out and executed. First things first, it runs a little small. I'm actually wearing a size six. Secondly, the lining is fantastic. It's cute, but it's also like super comfortable. The coat feels amazing against my skin. It's not too heavy. It just is truly a really comfortable coat to wear. I like how the shoulder seams are completely lined up. The coat has no hood and the belt has you know, the sort of like cute little leather trimmed detail. And the thing that's nice about this belt too is it's not gonna slide off. If you can see those, it has these little, you know, gold metal rings and so it's not gonna slip. Yeah, it's enough to keep the belt back there so I can wear it like this all the time and I don't worry about the belt falling off. I like the little like cuff detail. So yeah, this coat, highly recommend. It's a million dollars, it's fantastic. Let's look at the J. Crew. All right, so the so J. Crew's Icon coat is also lined, which I think is super important because in a lot of the lower priced trench coat options, they're often unlined, which is really, it means they're kind of like sticky next to your sweater or your t-shirt and they don't go on nicely. So I love that this coat is lined. And it's actually lined all the way through the sleeve. This is a really well-made coat. The J. Crew trench also has a hood, which Burberry does not, and I know some people care about that. So, and like I said, this one is only, I mean, it's still, it's still expensive, but comparatively to the Burberry, this one is only 350 bucks. The biggest difference between the J. Crew coat and the Burberry coat is the quality of the fabric itself. Immediately you'll notice that this coat does not drape nearly as well, and in fact, it's much stiffer. It's a little bit bigger throughout. So comparatively, I am wearing the size four compared to the Burberry size six. I do like though that the shoulder seams line up nicely. I do like that there is like a cute little sleeve detail here. J. Crew does this genius trick at the back. There is a hidden button back here that prevents the belt from sliding around. Again, we're talking about the double breasted design. The belt has some leather wrap, um, which gives it kind of a, a luxe look. This is a great trench coat. It's very cute. I like, you know, it has a storm flap just like the Burberry. For, you know, that insane price difference, this is a really solid option. So both J. Crew and Burberry cotton trench coats are 100% cotton, but they are both woven to be fairly water resistant. And in fact, Burberry performs really well, like even in a downpour. I haven't tried the J. Crew, but I know the Burberry is like, you know, pretty solidly water resistant. But the J. Crew coat, like you can kind of see, the drape is not there, it is definitely stiffer, it is definitely a little thicker and rougher. And I mean, you know, that's what I would expect in a, a you know, $1,500 price difference. Like you do get what you pay for with the Burberry. That said, this is a great coat, cute lines, totally works. So let's take a look at the Burberry one more time just so you can kind of get a sense of the difference in the fabric, but yeah. Crew. So then one last time, this is the Burberry, and you can just you can just see how like easy the drape is. And it's just clearly it's thinner. It actually feels so much lighter on. It is like, you know, very comfortable to wear. It's almost slouchy. So in the end, I decided to go with the Burberry because this is something that I wear all the time. And like I said, I've been like debating for years because it is such a high price point. But if you're just, if you're someone who doesn't wear a ton of trench coats and you just like want the look, the J. Crew Icon Trench is a really gorgeous piece too. As per usual, all links are down in the description and we would love if you would subscribe. Thanks for watching. Yeah, it, well, I mean, in conclusion, you don't have to say in conclusion, but like, you could be like, I, you know. Here's the moment. <laughs> Here's the moment. We highly recommend.